With the use of the basic tool, you can create interlinks for single posts and check the orphan posts on your site. If you click the basic tool, it will take you to the dashboard. If you need to create an interlink for a particular post, go to that post, copy the URL, and paste it here. Now you're all set up for the tool. If you go down a bit, you will find the data on internal links, outbound links, and external links. As you can see, this post has received four inbound links, but we want to create more interlinks for this article. If you scroll down a bit, you will find a list of articles that you can link from. You can also limit the tool to look for posts from the same category. It's the relevancy score. The higher the score, the more relevant the page is to the target article. Now, if you click the article, you will see small text portions present in the article that you can link from. The tool will also suggest some relevant anchor texts. If you want, you can edit the paragraph or the anchor text by clicking the edit button. In this case, I think the anchor text is relevant. So I will create the link by clicking this button. The link has been created, so let's check the link. Done. Now you can create interlinks for orphan pages on your site from here as well. On the sidebar, you can find all the orphan posts on your site. So let's create an interlink for this article. It takes a few seconds to crawl the page. As you can see, the article has received no inbound links. So let's look at the suggestions. If you're not happy with the suggestions or you have already created links from all the suggested pages, then you can submit your own destination URL to get the link from. So go to your preferred article, copy the URL, and submit it here. If you believe these texts are not relevant to the article and you can't even fix them by editing, then you can create your own section with our AI tool. Now, if you click this button, you will create some relevant headings for your article. Also, you will get some NLP-friendly anchor suggestions. Now, if you want, you can regenerate the heading or edit it by clicking here. And the same goes for the anchor text as well. But if you're happy with the heading and the anchor text, then click the paragraph button. A paragraph has been generated with the chosen anchor text. If you're satisfied with the paragraph and the anchor text, click Next. Here you can see all the existing headings and subheadings of the source article. I will place the section here. Once you have done the placement, click Update and the interlink will be created. Let's check out the link. That's all. Thank you for watching.